Okay. Alright, number one. If you could change <clears throat> or add one thing on your RV, what would it be? Easy answer for that one. It's always solar. <laughs> always more batteries. <laughs> More no, no, so for almost every uh, boondocker out there. <laughs> okay, how about you, Rick? Uh, what bigger refrigerator? Ew. Me, I would definitely be able to change that refrigerator to a three-way. Okay. Obviously. All right, number two. What's something you didn't expect when you got your first RV? I didn't expect to put so much money into it and get so little out of it when I sold it. Twelve thousand dollars worth worth money into uh into my truck and truck camper, mm -hmm. all all together. I ended up getting thirty five hundred bucks for it. If the truck itself was worth more than that, I yeah. well the thing is is I put it on consignment. I think the the dealership got uh, sixty two hundred for my rig. Uh, but they they agreed with me to do uh, 3500 otherwise they wouldn't even do it. And I would have been stuck in Texas with two rigs, you know. So. What was your first RV? It was a Pleasure Way. Pleasure Way? An O2 Pleasure Way. Okay, that looks like very nice. Yeah. And you yeah. had a truck camper? Yes, I had a, I had a truck camper. What, what, uh, well, I had a van first, but I don't... Well, that could be considered an RV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Well, okay, then I guess I would have to change it. Um, something I didn't expect from my first RV is the absolute euphoric feeling of true freedom. That's so, a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so same question to you guys. Well, our first RV was not this one. It was uh, a pop-up. Uh, let me tell you. We had so much we fun. Oh, yeah. I think I think I brought up three families in that pop-up camper and, and we all loved it and then we did like uh, my kids my grandkids my great-grandkids they all, all the bike all events we yeah. did it in the pop-up yeah we had and, so much fun and, and I didn't do anything what was the deciding factor to buy your first RV well <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah. I think it's <laughs> Pretty much the same answer as the last question. Um, I wanted the freedom. So, I wanted to get out of the cabin and let's go see America. Yeah, for me, I've been wanting to do it ever since I went on that trip back in 1985. Retirement, and it was get retired a year and I bought that, that Class B and quit my job, started selling everything. And nice. When you went shopping for your RV, was there a certain thing that you were looking for? Yeah, I pretty much. Well, I started out, I wanted something like this, not quite this big, it, it first. Then I, I started watching all these videos and started learning more and thinking about it more. Mm -hmm. and then I got, I forgot where I went from that, but I went to a, a truck camper and then I decided the Class B is probably the best way to go, mm -hmm. you know, to okay. get on the road, so. Yeah. And then I outgrew that. Number four, what's your favorite meal to cook when you're camping? Mine is probably breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. Well, I, I really like to cook steaks. I like it like the fire actually touching it. I know, right? I know. You just get the smoke and all yeah, that stuff. If you get a hickory. Yeah. Okay, number five. What's your RV destination you've been to? That I've been to? Oh, so far, oh, the best one. Oh, oh. There was one, actually Rick was with me. There was one in Idaho that I remember going up. It's like a small road. You come out through these mountains mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. there's this lake at the, we're like on this ledge, right? Mm -hmm. Just nice grass all the way around us. <laughs> White mountains all the way around us, it's huge. It looks like it would be in a movie. They're, they look like this. And they're white mountains, you know. You know. Were I mean? they snow topped? Snow topped. Yeah. Idaho is one it. of those states that are so I beautiful when people every year they go to them. Coming down and seeing the Snake River. Yeah. Yeah. Like Boise. 
Just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Drop dead gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Number six? Yeah. Number thought, six. What's your favorite thing, above all, about RVing? Freedom. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, freedom's a big deal. It's yeah. the whole deal. It's the freedom. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's totally about the freedom, and I mean, it's not about the lavish lifestyle, that's for sure. Hurry, <laughs> it's the meeting other nomads, it's yeah. the moments around the fire with strangers. But making friends. That, that mm -hmm. uh, you'll end up knowing for the, possibly the rest of your life, but mm -hmm. there's just moments where even the flames slow down and you're just sitting there, and it's just the perfect temperature out. The, the moon is up there all bright and uh, you just feel safe and nice and you're parked in the middle of a field or the woods or something, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, the, the beautiful day times and the seeing new things, it's, mm -hmm. I'm really passionate about it. I've been able to do it for six years now and I yeah, thank God lucky. every day for being able to still do it. Number seven, what's your least favorite thing about RVN? Well, I would have to say that it's going around to these campsites and seeing the trash that people leave behind and the total lack of respect. It's so true. I mean, it's it's already free and uh, they don't respect it's not good enough for them. They're all tired of it. Yeah. It's an endless battle. It, yes. yeah. Pick up but your trash. I know, right? Pick <laughs> up your trash, people. Seriously. What's a must have on your next RV? I so, what would I want on my next RV? I eventually will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gee, I want it to float in water and drive on land. 500 gallon water tank, 600 gallon black tank, and a walk-in pantry. Oh, I, I mean, you get there, I, I want it completely off the grid. Off yeah. the grid. Yeah. That would be cool. Well, Newell makes it, and, and uh, Paul Travel makes it. Yeah, they're out there, but I want to, yeah, maybe in 10, 15 years, I'm still able to yeah. do this. Number nine, what's your favorite adult beverage if you drink alcohol? Holiday drink. Yeah. I really like IPA, so really any 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 dark, rich IPA. What's uh, IPA? Indian Pale Ale. It's, I've uh, never heard of it. Okay, it's a. Uh, I like Belgian white. The good stuff, you know. <laughs> is it beer? Or is it's it beer. whiskey? It's beer. Yep. It's beer. Yep. Is it a northern uh, Minnesota drink? Or no, they got, it, it. They, got different they got it all over the place. I have never well, heard of it. Yeah. Different parts I, I, of the country. I, I, I've heard of PBS. Yeah, Pla Pabst Blue, Blue Ribbon. Right. Well, I just like drinking beer. Don't ask me what kind because I travel across, across the country and it yeah. changes there. I, I don't drink Budweiser anymore. That got old quick. Yeah, that's uh, soapy. Yeah. You know, I try to, you know, different beers from different parts of the country. Yeah. Beer, I like, I like Yingling, and if Yingling is not available, I, I'll take a Corona. Yeah. Uh, but no, Bud, I don't like it. It's soapy for me. Yeah, okay. Uh, Crown Royal Apple would be really nice too. Number 10. What's your favorite indoor accessory? Computer. Com What's yours? Probably cell phone. The cell yeah, phone. yeah, yeah. Mine is my Instapot. <coughs> yours is your Instapot. My that is such a feminine answer. Uh, television on uh, football season. <laughs> <laughs> and such a masculine answer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, lobster fest. Now that yeah. I would love to do. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure when they do it. I think it's September. We're at Maine or? At no, no. No, in, uh, in Key West. Key West. Oh, Key. There's a naked they, fest they do too. Lobster fest what? and they do fantasy fest. Uh, uh, oh yeah, fantasy fest. 